Welcome back to County Connection. For this next segment, we are going to be talking about what's on tap with the Summit Cove Loop Project for summer of 2017. And we have with us Kate Berg from the Summit County Planning Department. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. And Tom Gozrowski, Public Works Director. Welcome, Tom. Thanks. All right, so the Summit Cove Loop Project is a multi-year project in one of our largest residential neighborhoods in unincorporated Summit County. So um, give us some of the big picture goals and happenings of this project. Kate. Okay, you've got, well, you've been working <laughs> on this a little longer. Do you want to start? Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, we kicked off the, the county kicked off the planning process in uh, the summer of 14 and really engaged the community in um, designing a project to provide uh, bicycle and pedestrian connections around the entire two and a half mile loop in Summit Cove, the main roads um, through that neighborhood being Cove Boulevard and Summit Drive. Mm -hmm. And so the project itself um, looks to add on-grade bicycle and pedestrian lanes around that entire two and a half mile loop. And so um, the goal is really to try to make the Summit Cove neighborhood safer for walking and biking um, and to try to slow vehicle speeds down in that neighborhood. Uh, the existing conditions out there were just, you know, wide straight roadways with no striping. Um, so a lot of different users, vehicles, walkers, bikers, all trying to share the the wide roadway. Sure. Um, and so the overall goal of the project is over um, a few years to build out the entire two and a half mile loop by um, striping in drive lanes and striping in uh, designated bike and pedestrian lanes so that um, we have safe routes for people to walk and bike and slower vehicle speeds throughout the neighborhood. Excellent. Uh, and also as part of this kind of large um, body of work over multiple years, we're wor working on some basic road improvements as well. Can you speak to that, Tom? Yeah, we are doing a lot of uh, pavement maintenance in the Summit Cove area as well. And uh, a lot of that is on the Cove Loop uh, in conjunction with these bike and, ped or bike and pedestrian improvements that Kate spoke about. But uh, we're also trying to take care of a lot of the side streets. Uh, many of the streets in Summit Cove are getting to be quite old and the pavement is really failing. It, they were in pretty rough shape. Uh, and so we did a number of those side streets two years ago, more on the east side of the Cove. Uh, last summer we did uh, a bunch of uh, streets kind of towards the west side with Ginger Quill and Soda Creek Court uh, and Landon and Whispering Pines Ranch Road, which was in, in really rough shape and is a little bit more of a collector road. Uh, so we were able to fix that up and that work will continue on in the next several years as well. Okay, and so the um, the first phase of the actual loop was Summit Drive, mm -hmm. which right. is kind of that straight shot to the back of the cove. Um, and what do we have on tap for the summer? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yep, the first phase was done in 15, Summit Drive, um, this, this phase um, that's going to be built in uh, the summer of 2017 includes the Summit Cove Elementary School Zone, and it's basically from the Whispering Pines Ranch Road intersection to Gray Fox Lane, including the school, the school zone area. Okay. Um, and then what are, so in addition to the lanes, um, what, um, what are some of the design features that um, kind of enhance the walkability and bikeability of that area? So I, yeah, we've got the bike ped shoulders where we're widening out the road platform and striping that to kind of separate cars uh, from bikes and pedestrians. But this segment also includes a lot of improvements right at the elementary school that are related to uh, kind of the pick up and drop off traffic at the elementary school. And right now that traffic really has to circulate in and out of the parking lot at the school, uh, which can be kind of problematic. And so we're gonna create a drop off, pick up drop off lane uh, right on the side of Summit Cove Boulevard in front of the elementary school between the two school driveways uh, where parents will be able to pull their car over, get out of traffic, drop their child off. Kids can just jump out of the car onto a new sidewalk that will be built there and then uh, walk down and enter the school. And so that should help the safety but also the traffic flow at the school quite a bit as well. So a lot more efficiency of different modes and separation of vehicles versus pedestrians and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. One of the main goals is to try to slow vehicles down throughout that entire school zone and try to get 
traffic um, down to 20 miles an hour throughout the whole school zone area. Um, and then, like Tom said, you know, create nice, clear, designated routes for bikers and pedestrians to be separated from school buses and vehicles. Um, and then that, that nice, safe drop-off pickup area where kids can get out right onto the sidewalk and walk right into school out of the travel lanes. Okay, and then is it still part of the design to have these lanes look a little bit different than what people saw on that Summit Drive section? It, it, yeah. it is. The, the, uh, the shoulder, uh, bike ped shoulder lanes in the school zone area are going to be highlighted with some different color pavement markings. Uh, and we'll have a lot of signage and uh, what we call pavement stencils, kind of words and symbols on the pavement in that area to really call people's attention to the fact that they're in a school zone and they should expect a lot of kids uh, in that in that region as well. So uh, it will look a little different than it does over on the Summit Drive side. Yeah, okay. and the lanes are also going to be a little bit wider. Okay. The shoulders will be a little bit wider. The actual mm -hmm. car lanes, uh, we're going to narrow up a little bit, and that helps uh, promote slowing cars down uh, and you know, right. getting, getting drivers to uh, realize that they're in that school zone area and adjust their speeds. Great. Yep. Uh, and then we got some good news about this particular section of the project uh, last year, I guess it was, um, that CDOT is um, helping support the project. Can we talk a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, we worked with the Summit School District to put together a grant application for a Colorado Safe Routes to School grant, and we were awarded $350,000 um, really specifically for the school zone section because it's one of the most critical sections of the overall Summit Cove Loop project, and we really wanted to work with the school district and get it right and improve safety as much as possible within that school zone area. Mm -hmm. And so we applied to CDOT, and we were awarded a $350,000 grant for that design um, so that really helped kind of reduce the overall cost of the project for the county pretty substantially um, so we're, we're excited to be working collaboratively with CDOT and with the school district to implement the the school zone piece this year awesome um, and then so it's it's still a little bit early we're um, sitting at the beginning of March as we talk here and uh, there are a few more steps to get through in terms of bidding and finding a contractor, et cetera, mm -hmm. but do we have a rough idea of scheduling as far as the construction goes, or what can folks, folks expect? We do. Right now, as you mentioned, we're putting together all of the construction documents, the plans or blueprints, and uh, we'll be bidding that out to hire a contractor this spring. And the plan is to roughly construct the project uh, between June and, and late August. And we really want to do all the work while school is out of session. Uh, we don't want to have kids and traffic in the midst of a construction zone. Uh, and so Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, yeah generally <laughs> a good mix with those users. So uh, it should work out pretty well that we do all the work while school is out and we should have the project completed before school begins again in the autumn. Great. Um, so for residents of the neighborhood who are um, who want to get some deeper level of detail, we have an event coming up for them. Uh, what's on tap? We do. We have a open house that we're planning to host on Wednesday, March 22nd. It's going to be at the Summit Cove Elementary School uh, from 4.30 to 6.30 uh, in the evening. And the idea with the open house, it's an open you know, format. Just come anytime during that two hour window and county staff will be there um, as well as our um, civil engineer that's yeah. working with us to design the project. And we plan to have project plans available for residents to take a look at the plans, ask questions, get more information on the overall construction schedule, what's anticipated for the for the summer as far as, you know, the the schedule and the, and the details of construction. Um, and then we also do still have our Summit Cove Loop um, project webpage up, and we have a blog that we send out as we get closer to construction and you know into the spring and the summer. We'll be sending out blog updates more regularly, and that's a, a great way for people to stay in touch with what's happening and keep up to speed on all the latest announcements on on a weekly basis. You know, into the summer. Yeah. Excellent, and uh, and people can find that at um, summitcountyco.gov slash summitcoveloop yeah. um, and sign up for those um, email updates via the blog as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else that you guys would like to touch on regarding the Summit Cove Loop project plans for this summer? 
I think looking beyond this summer, our goal is to finish out the entirety of the loop uh, the next summer. So in 2018, we would do the segment from Whispering Pines Ranch Road out to uh, Swan Mountain Drive. Okay. And that would kind of conclude the whole project. And so we really look forward to getting that completed and having the full improvement available for everybody to use. And uh, I think it'll be you know, a really nice improvement for that neighborhood. And uh, it'll, you know, like all construction projects, it'll be nice to have it done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right. Well, thanks to you both for coming in and for your great work on this awesome project. <laughs> thanks, Julie. Right, thanks. All right. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about property taxes. <laughs>